When the cellular data stops working on your iPhone, there are several services that will be affected. You won't be able to send or receive text messages as well as make phone calls. And when you're relying on the mobile data to connect to the internet then you can expect to have no internet connection the moment such a problem occurs. Applications that need to be constantly connected to their respective servers will also stop downloading information. In this video, we will show you what to do if your iPhone 13 cellular data service doesn't work. First solution, force restart your iPhone 13. Before anything else, make sure that such a problem is not just due to a minor glitch in the system. Thus the first thing you have to do is to refresh the memory of your device by doing the forced restart. Here's how you do it, quickly press and release the volume up button and then the volume down button. After releasing the volume down button, press and hold the power key until the logo shows. Once your iPhone has finished rebooting, try sending an MMS to your own number to see if it goes through. If it does then the problem is fixed, if not move on to the next solution. Second solution, enable airplane mode for a few seconds. When you enable the airplane mode, all wireless communications on your iPhone will be disabled. But once you disable the airplane mode back your device will reconnect to the networks including the cellular data network. This procedure might work for you, so follow these steps. Pull down the control center. Look for the airplane icon and tap on it to enable it. Leave it enabled for a couple of seconds and after that tap on it again to disable it. Give your iPhone a few seconds to reconnect to the networks and then try to see if the mobile data problem is fixed. Third solution Disable cellular data and re-enable it. Another thing you can do to force your iPhone to reconnect to the cellular network is by disabling the service for a few seconds and re-enabling it back. It worked for some users so it's worth a try here's how you should do it. Go to the home screen and open the settings app. Tap cellular. Then, toggle cellular data switch to disable it. Then, leave it disabled for a couple of seconds and then tap on the switch to enable cellular data again. This will reactivate cellular data network services on your iPhone. Now try sending a picture message to your own number to see if your iPhone 13 can now send and receive it. If still not then move on to the next solution. Fourth solution, reset network settings. After doing the first three solutions and the cellular data on your iPhone 13 is still not working then you have to reset the network settings. This procedure is very effective when it comes to network related issues like this. This is how it's done on your iPhone 13. From the home screen, tap settings, and then tap general. After that, scroll down and tap transfer or reset iPhone. And then tap reset at the bottom of the screen to reveal all the options. Then, tap Reset Network Settings and enter your security lock if prompted. Then, tap Reset Network Settings at the bottom of the screen. Your iPhone will reset the network and reboot. Once it has finished rebooting, try to see if the problem is fixed. Fifth solution factory reset your iPhone 13. If the cellular service on your iPhone continues to be buggy affecting the data connection and other things, then you have no other choice but to reset your device. A factory settings reset will delete all your files and data so make sure to create a backup of your important stuff before doing it. When ready follow these steps to reset your iPhone 13. From the home screen tap settings. Fine and tap general. Then, scroll down and tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. And then, tap Erase all content and settings at the bottom of the screen. Then, tap Continue and then enter your security code if prompted. Then, enter your Apple ID password and tap Turn off at the top right corner of the screen. Then, wait until your iPhone 13 has finished the reset and then set it up as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by hitting like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos. Thanks for watching.